Hi everyone, Christina here. I am about to make some dinner and I thought I'd share with everyone. Remember I'm doing this 10 day challenge with my sister, seeing how we can eat as plant-based as possible. So today I am making spaghetti squash with a sauce, probably like a garlic cashew sauce. And I'm going to also do some cauliflower um, air fryer cauliflower that's gonna be my meat so I thought I'd show you a little bit of how I put this together and then I'll show you the final result so let me flip around the camera so you can see what I'm doing okay, so here is my squash what I did is I cut off the ends and just just to make sure it's stable and I put a big knife in the middle and then I'm just moving it kind of all the way around Just be careful not to cut yourself and just bringing it down until you hear it pop. And then it should come apart fairly easy. And there you have it. These are my two sides of the spaghetti squash. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to scoop all of this out. Should have got a spoon with the water. So I'm gonna go ahead and just scoop the seeds and everything in the middle out. I'm gonna roast this in an oven at 375 for about 30 to probably 30 minutes because this is a small one. It's not very big but it's probably just me eating this, so. I'm gonna go ahead and scoop the other one out. So you can put this in the microwave for about 10 minutes for this size, if you like. The only thing, I think the roasting's gonna make it more tasty, but either way, it'll be fine all depending how much time you have. You just get out all of the insides. Okay. So now you have your two ready to roast. Now, you can either put a little olive oil on there or you can spray. I'm gonna spray just a little bit. If you don't want to, if you're 100% oil free, you don't have to bother with this step, but I'm just gonna do a light spray. You don't have to do that if you don't want. I'm gonna also do some black pepper. I'm gonna do a little bit of salt. If you are salt free, you can omit this as well. Just do a little sprinkle of salt. And I think I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic powder. ran out of parchment paper, so I'm gonna use foil. So I'm gonna take a lined pan, either with parchment paper or foil, and I'm gonna put it face down on the foil. Just like this. I'm gonna stick it in the oven, like I said, for about 30 minutes. When you don't want it to be mushy, you just want it to be a little tender, but still hold its shape. And that's how you know it's ready when the when you can pierce it and it's soft enough for the knife to go all the way through. So I'm gonna stick this in the oven at 375 for about 30 minutes and then I'll show you what it looks like. I'm gonna prep the sauce for my spaghetti squash. My base is gonna be cashew. So I have here some raw cashews. I'm probably gonna use about a fourth of a cup of cashews. I'm gonna put two cloves of garlic. I'm also gonna use some nutritional yeast. I'm gonna do about a table to two tablespoons of this. So, a little, a little 
less than two tablespoons. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of garlic powder, a little bit of onion powder, some black pepper, dash of salt and I'm gonna add a little bit of almond milk so we're gonna I'm gonna start off with about a fourth cup of almond milk let's see, let's see what it looks like Actually, I'm gonna do half a cup and that's pretty much my sauce I'm gonna go blend this up and I'll be right back I blended up my sauce. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put it in a skillet. And when I'm ready, I'm gonna heat this and I'm gonna add some red pepper flakes to it. And then once my spaghetti squash is ready, I'm just gonna toss in this. I'm also going to add a little bit of basil. So here is my sauce. I added some fresh basil. To that, I'm going to add just a dash of paprika. And I ran out of red pepper flakes, but I do have ground. So I'm gonna try that. I'm just gonna give it a little bit of heat. Just a little bit. I'm gonna let them try this, so I don't wanna put too much, just in case. Everybody doesn't want it to be hot. And I'm just gonna simmer this. And then we're just gonna add the spaghetti squash, top it with some parsley, and that will be it. Maybe a little more basil. I'm gonna taste this off. It tastes really good at this point. You can add more salt if you feel it needs it. I think it's fine. gonna let that heat up basically all you're doing is letting this warm up a little just for a few minutes all right we're gonna check on our spaghetti squash to see how it's doing it is in there let me get a knife let's see almost it went through but it can stay a little longer these are really small, so it's going to cook fairly fast. Okay, so I have my cauliflower here. I cut off the back pretty much, and now I'm just going to go around and just cut off the florets around the whole cauliflower. You can buy this already chopped um, if you're pressed for time. continue to cut the cauliflower. It's like little florets all around. Into the back now so I can cut this off. Make that easier. And then just go in. Now I'm going to put these in the air fryer today. Just for just want something done fast. I'm going to season them with a few spices and see how they turned out. I have never oven fried cauliflower, so we will see. I'm not going to put it in a batter. I know you can do all that, but I'm just trying to do it as simple as possible. And then we'll see how it comes out. And next time I make it, I'll make adjustments to it. It should be good. Like some of them are too big, so I'm gonna cut them in half so they cook evenly. Kind of want them the same size, well, as much as possible. Okay, here they go. I'm gonna go get some spices and a bowl to get this all ready. I just pulled it out the oven. And as you can see, my knife goes straight through, so they are ready. It took under 30 minutes, but these are super small. 
We're gonna let them cool for about 15 minutes and then I'll show you what we're gonna do next. Okay, so I have it in my bowl. I'm gonna add some spices. I'm gonna do onion powder. You can do about a tablespoon, a teaspoon to two teaspoons. Same with garlic powder. I also have some paprika. Uh, I'm gonna do some black pepper. I'm gonna do a little bit of nutritional yeast in there. A little bit of salt. And a little bit of cayenne pepper. And this is the ground, so I'm not gonna put too much. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just mix it all together. I'm gonna air fry this for about 10 to 15 minutes. I'll keep an eye on it. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more of paprika. I like paprika. And garlic powder. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna go put this in the air fryer and then we'll see how it turns out. Here is it in my air fryer basket. I'm gonna go stick it in, probably at 400 for about 15 minutes. Okay, my squash is ready. It is still kinda hot. So I have a towel there, and what I'm gonna do is just shred. And it comes out just like spaghetti. And you just do it till you get to the skin. Just keep shredding. I think next time I'm gonna do it with no, I won't spray it. You know what, I don't really think it really needed it. I'm just gonna scoop it all out. Okay. I'm just gonna do the next one. This is still very hot. I'm just gonna scoop it out on the, Ooh, it's hot. This is a good side. You can put some marinara sauce on top of this. Um, use it exactly how you would spaghetti. Okay, so that's how much I got. This was a very small squash. I have my sauce right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, because it's cashews, it did get a little thick, but that's fine. I'm gonna toss about, mm couple of tablespoons. I'm going to take my tongs and I'm going to go ahead and toss it in the sauce. It smells so good. enough sauce. I'm gonna put a little bit of basil. Mix a little bit of black pepper. And then just a little bit of basil there. how it turned out. Let's give it a taste. I'm going to taste a little from here. I, I cooked it just the right amount of time. It is almost, it is al dente, like pasta. So good. This is so good. This would be delicious with um, pasta sauce. You have to give this recipe a try. 
as a pasta replacement for every once in a while. That sauce was really good. Um, so I'm gonna put this aside. I'm gonna go check on my cauliflower and then I'll show you how that turned out. Here they are. They're almost done. They're pretty tender, but I like them to be a little more crispy. So I'm gonna leave it another 10 minutes. So probably a total of 30 minutes they're gonna be in here, but it's all depending how you like it. But so far I did take a little nibble and the flavor was good. I just needed a little bit crispy. And I think it's because of this air fryer is a little different than the one I'm used to. So I think this one takes a little bit longer. All right, so I will do a taste test once these are done. Okay, so the cauliflower is done. It's pretty crispy. Let's give it a taste test. I have a small one right here. Very good. The spices, I didn't put any oil on this and it was fantastic. I just put the spices and that's it. I mixed it up and air fried it. This is really good. I'm going to try it with the squash together. Let's see how it came out. You know, I know it's not meat, but it can it kind of works well together. Like the spices kind of remind me of the spices you would put on chicken and it goes really well with the squash. It is really good. Give this recipe a try. Let me know what you think, if it satisfies you. Um, take a picture of it and let me know what it looked like. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe if you want to see videos like this in the future. I hope everyone has a great evening.